Welcome back for another video. Um, a couple of things I've done is moved the, well this is since the test, moved the pedals back a little bit, which should give us a little bit of space for a dashboard. And I'm gonna add the screen. So that is what I need to do today. I need to lengthen the column slightly. Got some gauges for the dash. Speedo, I've got rev counter, got a couple of stopwatches. Um, looking at the old pictures, the gauges were all black rim. So I'll paint those black. Try and get them in the dash. Got an ignition switch, ignition light, the bulb, light switch. I was going to do indicators, but I probably won't do those now. Uh, yeah, let's make a dashboard and screen using the cardboard AV design. Um, I have now cut that out of a piece of alley, made some holes in it. So I'm just going to clean that off and spray it with some crinkle black. Just drumming across to something else. This is the windscreen template, which I made up, which it's quite well. I found some acrylic sheet to make the windscreen out of, but it's really brittle. So I tried to uh, break it along a scribed line, which was this line, but it broke onto the bit that I masked or masked out, marked out. So that's the end of that. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe I will be using some uh, polycarbonate sheet for the windscreen now, because this is a bit brittle. Uh, anyway, dashboard is basking in the sun. So that's um, crinkle paint. Waiting for that to dry now. Let's have a look at the gauges. So I've just painted uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one to get rid of the chrome uh, edges. And yeah, the stopwatches just painted those black. So I need to put those in the dash with the other bits and pieces. And that is the dashboard in. It's just held with screws along the top. Also, I've added this uh, on and off switch which is a direct battery cutout just for safety, as well as having the on off for the motor controller that will actually isolate the battery. Uh, so yeah, I think that's ready for another test. And also we're up to two batteries. So that'll be 51 volts, I think, 52 maybe. Uh, so we'll see how that goes for a top speed run. Let's take it to the test track. Now we are at Brooklands for the second test. It's now running on 52 volts, 51.6 it was on there. So we should be getting about 30 now. Okay, wheel spin. <laughs> 